Welcome back to Good Day, where we love local, positive, fun, and animals. Yes, you can keep <laughs> warm, look stylish, and help four-legged officers of the law. Toledo Police Officer Robin Matajewski and her partner, Officer Hugo, join us this morning to explain. Good so, morning to yeah. both of you. Good morning. Hugo, what you doing? Hey, Hugo. He says, I'm going to... Hide in the back here. Oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> so, uh, you know, Officer Hugo here has been on the force for quite some time, huh? Nine years. Nine, Nine years. years. Wow. We, we came on together. Uh, we started working together in uh, September of 2014. Mm -hmm. how's, that, how's that relationship been for the past nine years or so? Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. It's the best job ever, but don't tell everybody. Okay, okay. <laughs> I think the secret's out. Your best bud over here, right? He is my best friend, yes. And so what kind of work does Hugo do? Hugo does um, explosive detection. Mm -hmm. So anytime there's a big event at the Huntington Center or like this upcoming year with a presidential election, mm -hmm. we go around and we uh, do sweeps at the venues. Mm -hmm. Also, whenever there's a bomb threat anywhere, mm -hmm. you know, in the Toledo area, I mean, we've gone as far out as Pioneer, Bryan, Ohio, Upper Sandusky mm -hmm. on, on the call outs and yeah, stuff. Yeah, because Hugo has a nose that's <laughs> a lot more stronger than the rest of us. <laughs> yes. So Hugo's trained to, to sniff those things out. Yes. Uh, so uh, you all look looking for folks to uh, support the Canine mm -hmm. Association. Yes. How can they do so? Well, we're going to have our uh, annual t-shirt and hoodie sale coming mm -hmm. up this Friday and Saturday. Well, that's a good and easy way for people. You know, it's yep. nice and cold outside. We yeah. need a hoodie right about <laughs> now. Hoodie weather. Uh, hoodie weather. Like and it looks like you have a, a couple different versions here. These are really cute. Yes. Is that a flag on the back? And Yes. Um, I did bring samples in, but... Uh, over there. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> but yeah, they have a flag with a dog head on them. Mm -hmm. So the hoodies are come in the dark gray color and they're $30 a piece. Mm -hmm. And you can also get the same design on a dark colored t-shirt and those are 15. Yeah, so uh, when we talk about support for the Canine Association, uh, where does this money go? How does it how does it help? So the money goes to offset the cost of our canine unit. So we use it to um, uh, pay for training for the handlers and for the canines, additional equipment like harnesses, bite work, or the, the bite suits, mm -hmm. leashes, you know, those kinds of things. If there's any um, extra things that, that our unit needs, it helps to offset the cost of those nice. items. And nice. those sorts of things are expensive. Yes. <laughs> Especially yeah. training, things like that? Yes. Like an average bite suit runs anywhere like $1,600 and mm -hmm. up. Yeah. You know, because they're, they're tailored for the handler because they kind of have to be specific to size. You know, we want them to fit properly. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have one guy on our unit who's really tall. He's like 6'5", and he put on one of our suits and it came up to like mid- That's not going to work. <laughs> mid, mid calf there. Yeah, it didn't work. So we had to make sure he got a, a, a suit to fit him properly when he got on the unit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and when we talk about uh, training, training is really extensive for the canine officer yes. and the handler and this yes. training for some of these canines from my knowledge they start overseas uh, was that the same way with Hugo no when Hugo came to the United States he was green most of our canines that we get are green or have very very little training mm -hmm. in them uh, the initial training is six weeks we go to a, a canine Academy down in southern Ohio and uh, yeah the handler goes down there and they teach the handler to teach the dog so they bond together and work together and then usually once a year, there's a huge canine uh, training um, event up in Alpena, Michigan, and we like to go up there, and that kind of those funds kind of help offset the cost for the officer to go up those. Do you have, is it ongoing training or once he was trained on, you know, he was good to go? It's ongoing training. The, our unit trains twice a month together, but then we're um, expected to train every day on our own with our canines. Oh, Keep wow. them sharp. Yeah, oh, so yeah. you create a really tight bond. Yes. Yeah, so um, <laughs> this bond uh, is going to take you two into retirement from what we understand. Yes. Talk to us oh about that goodness. a bit. So, so <laughs> retirement, is this coming soon or down yeah, the line a little January bit? January 2nd. <gasps> oh, wow. Month. You only have, yes. Yep. Wow. So I'll have 27 years with the department and nine of those will have been with Hugo. Wow. And Hugo comes with you, right? He's, yep. When he retires, I retire. So if they would have <laughs> said, oh, he's going today, I'm, well, me too. <laughs> how, how, how do you think Hugo's going to do? Like, he has to think, like, every day it's time to go to work, right? Yes, every time I leave the house, he wants to go with me. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a little bit of an adjustment because mm -hmm. Hugo's a little bit of a social butterfly. He likes to go out and see his people. <laughs> you know, and that means, you know, if he's retiring, obviously the forest might need to, you know, get an, another dog and yes. there's expense with that and, yes. and all of that Actually, as well. Actually, um, this upcoming Monday, we, we already put a bid out to officers mm -hmm. in, the, in the department um, to put in for my position. Yeah. And so we're going to see who 
puts in for it and how that turns out. So we'll have someone to replace me um, when we get our next dog in the spring. Okay. Right. And she said it's the best job mm -hmm. ever. So. Well, and congrats on retirement. <laughs> so again, uh, how can people uh, get their hands on these hoodies? Well, our sale is going to start on Friday. Mm -hmm. Uh, December 1st, we'll be at the safety building from 5 a.m. to about 10 p.m. Okay. And if you can't make it on Friday, we're going to be at our union hall on Saturday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. And our union hall is at 1947 Franklin. It's the okay. Toledo Police Patrolman's Association Hall. Okay, we'll so be there. pop by there and, and grab your hoodie, grab your t-shirt, maybe give them away as gifts, you know, yep. buy a couple for yourself, you know, <laughs> yep. whatever, yep. you know. Yep. Uh, it's, a, it's a good way to give back and to support, you know, it some is. really important folks here. Yep. It community. is. These guys, I mean... <laughs> Uh, they're just um, an amazing resource that our department has in so many ways. Mm -hmm. You know, not just you know doing the the police work, but just even the the, the public interaction yeah. with the public is yeah. kind of nice. Very good. Thank you so much for coming and congratulations again. Yep. Congrats, congrats to you too. Yeah, congrats to you go. <laughs> he says, I'm done with this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we'll be back with more good day. Stay with us.